Welcome back to Story Time with Miss Cece. Hi, friends. This is my final book of today's reading. It is called Swashby and the Sea. I love this story. I think it's so nice. I love the message. And I really love Mr. Swashby and this young girl's friendship. Swashby and the Sea. Captain Swashby loved the sea. The sea and he had been friends for a long, long time. She knew him in and out, up and down, and better than anyone. So when Swashby retired, it was to a small house on a small beach, as close to the sea as he could be. Whenever he needed something, the sea provided exactly the right thing at exactly the right time. Life was just the way Swashby liked it. Salty and sandy and serene. Until... What do you think's gonna happen? Squeaks and squeals sprang up from the empty house next door, which was no longer empty. It had been commandeered by a girl and her granny who planted umbrellas, scattered beach chairs, and they boarded Swashby's deck without permission. Swashby battened down the hatches, hid when the doorbell rang, and fed their oatmeal cookies to the gulls. He didn't need neighbors. He didn't want neighbors. Neighbors were noisy, a nuisance, and annoying. So in return, he left a message written clearly in the sand. No trespassing, which the sea fiddled with just a little bit. Do you have any neighbors that you like or don't like? I don't think any of my neighbors are noisy, a nuisance, or annoying. Sing, the girl read, and did just that. She sang every song she knew while dancing up and down Swashby's deck. What now, she asked. Now vanish, Swashby wore, wrote later that evening, adding a starfish exclamation point. And the sea fiddled with it just a little. What do you think it might say now? Wish, the girl read, picking up the starfish and did just that. She closed her eyes and began, I wish, no, 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 Swashby interrupted, stomping down the steps. If ye mean to make a starfish wish, ye must say this. Starfish back to waves so blue, the sea will see a wish come true. How lovely, Granny said. We wish you'd come up for a cup of tea, Mr. Swashby. But Swashby wished to be left alone, so he grumbled and mumbled and hurried inside. He didn't need tea. He didn't want tea. Tea was civilized, friendly, neighborly. What he needed was a new message. Please go away, he wrote firmly in the sand. And once again, the sea fiddled with it just a little. Play, the girl shouted, and did just that. With swashby shells and stones, with his buckets and shovels, but her towers kept falling. Barnacle bottoms, swashby muttered, marching out. You're doing it all wrong. Ye must not use the sunbaked sand. It's the sea sand that does the trick. And he showed her how to dig for the wet sand below. Do you like building sand castles? I love it. Thank, but Swashby was gone. Before long, amazing sculptures decorated the beach. It's the clamshells ye should be using, Swashby called from inside. Come play, Mr. Swashby, the girl called back. Swashbys don't play, he answered, banging the shutters. Look at their castle. So the sea decided to meddle more than just a little. She inched her way up 
licked the sand and tickled the girl's toes. She nibbled on the sculptures and slurped away the bucket. The girl tried to grab it, but look at me, the girl cried. Look at her, Granny gasped. Oh dear, look at her. Granny hurried to the water's edge, but Swashby was already there. What are ye up to, ye great salty imp? He asked, scooping up the girl in the bucket. With a great big wave, the sea delivered the pair back to shore. There was no stopping the laughing and thanking and hugging that was Swashby's reward. I see what ye did, he whispered to the sea as he was whisked away to celebrate. After that, it was easy for Swashby to have tea with the girl and her granny, and ice cream, and lobster, and s'mores on the beach. It was easy for him to share his special sea glass. It was easy for him to see that neighbors could be fun, and friends, and family. And when he had a moment to himself, Swashby carved a heartfelt message for the sea. Thank ye, friend, which the sea fiddled with just a little. And it now says the end. Do you have any neighbors that you consider your friends or even as close as your family? I know growing up, my neighbors and I were so, so close and we all used to play together every day during the summer and after school. And they are some of the closest friends turned family that I have. All right. Thank you so much for reading with me and I hope you enjoy the rest of my stories. Have a good day.